All right, guys. Here's where things um, get a little hairy for people who are actually want to install an AMD graphics driver in their system. Um, I actually have it already pre-installed. I was running some tests with it, and I saw that the recording was really shoddy. So I had to go back into the system and make some changes to actually get this going right. But um, you go down to System Tools and you'll see the Catalyst um, Control Center here. And uh, in the Control Center you want to enable the tear free settings so that you don't have any screen tear when moving objects around on your screen. Things will be a lot smoother so you go ahead and set that up. And uh, here is where you set up your monitors for your uh, multiple displays and uh, yeah there's also the 3D settings anti-aliasing anti and all this stuff that you could actually set the performance within the graphics driver so when you're actually gaming stuff looks a lot better um, yeah so that's that and then I'll show you guys how to actually do the install so it'll be some copy and pasting going on into the terminal so stay tuned on Tux Tech TV here we go this is how you get your drivers installed for your AMD system so what you're gonna do is um, go to your downloads or documents or wherever where did I put those ah home yeah all right all of these scripts right here I'm gonna have posted in the description below okay so you guys could just copy and paste and when I say copy and paste I mean just individual lines one at a time so like so you copy and then you paste it in your terminal shortcut to open in the terminal is control alt T for the people that don't know then you go with your and then enter your password, enter. And then from here, when you enter that, your PPAs for your XOR drivers are updated. So what the XOR drivers do is um, help to handle the um, computations of the uh, AMD or NVIDIA drivers to display whatever on your screen so if this is an updated whenever there's a new rev for your graphics card driver um, you won't get that update or you won't get that prompt so if this isn't installed into your system you will just be running that old driver and then when there's bugs you're stuck with them so the best thing to do is update this and get that going and then follow the procedures as you see here going down one at a time all right I already have the drivers installed so I'm not gonna do it again because doubling up on those drivers in the system is gonna cause some conflict so but instead of uh, installing it all again what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this portion here after you actually do all this general stuff here this is the last portion that you would need to know in installing your drivers actually so okay alright so when aptitude pulls this up what you're gonna do is go scroll your list to the top this is pretty much the uh, ending portion of that first thing that I put in there so 
you will see where certain packages and stuff end and uh, uh, where the other starts because it'll begin with your name of your computer and whatever have you but anyway the uh, AMD 64-bit um, microcode for your processor you want to go ahead and install that you could do that as well in the uh, synaptics package manager it's actually easier to do it that way so I'm going to show you guys how to do that there because um, generally what you want to have in your system is your graphics card driver so you're going to install this package list right here Oop. just this one that says um, the uh, FG LRX dash AMD as you can see that's the accelerated um, graphics driver there dash updates the updates is for the uh, proprietary driver not the open source driver in installing the open source driver I've been seeing that there were actually a lot of issues again with screen tearing um, there's been a lot of uh, artifacts and stuff that comes up in the system especially watching YouTube videos or just simply clicking on the window to minimize it or maximize it there's serious cases with artifacting there so just go ahead and install the proprietary driver it seems to be a lot more stable as of now than the um, open source driver so go ahead and put that plug that in you're gonna copy this and then uh, you're gonna scroll down to the bottom here and you're gonna type in sudo apt-get install space after you type in install hit space and then shift control V and then hit enter and what that's gonna do is install your graphics card driver and you go from there now where I was talking about the uh, synaptics package manager is actually you could just open your and type in you put in your password because it's asking for administrative rights to actually run because it's actually installing the uh, whatchamacallit the uh, drivers as a root you know in the root system so anyway AMD space you could to get this to pop up the first time you type in AMD space CPU and um, it'll bring you directly to the functions needed for handling the uh, processors um, programming so you want to install this this is actually a proprietary tool and uh, it better handles the uh, microcode in the system so that um, your CPU isn't running at like uh, at full tilt right now let's see what I'm getting here okay along with the screen recording and uh, whatever I'm doing right now I seem to be getting an average as about between 37 and 40 frames a second which is not terrible but it's not great at the same time on my desktop doing all of this right now because I've installed these these uh, accelerated packages for my CPU I'm actually getting in between 27 percent of my CPU usage which I was getting the same average up here but it's a uh, 6300 um, FX six core CPU and uh, things seem to be running a lot better with that function installed and also with the uh, AMD packages here you want to install your open your open CL the bionic AMD open CL packages and um, all of the dependencies will be installed automatically and it's a really short install as you can see pretty small 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 file alright and with that going I'm also gonna do the OpenGL packages okay those are pre-installed with the updates file okay cool 
All right. And a lot of other programs you could install using the Synaptic Package Manager. You could run multiple installs at once. I'd rather to use this than the Software Center because the Software Center is slow. It's slow as hell. I really can't stand how slow it is. Um, so I'd rather not use it at all. Um, ah, yeah. K3B is an actual disk burner that I like to use. I uh, have less coasters to deal with. When I say coasters, I mean bad burns where the uh, system will not read the disk at all using Brazero, Brazero, whatever it's called, it's garbage. I don't use that disk burner anymore, it's just horrible. Anyway, um, what else did I want to show you guys? Okay, yeah, I go back here to the downloads. Um, if you're gonna run the Haven benchmark, I'm using the uh, Nemo file manager. You could download that using the Synaptics package tool that I just had open. Just type in Nemo, N-E-M-O, and install it. And then after you install it, you're gonna go into your search here. Well, uh, okay. So you go into your search and just type in Nemo. And then you'll see this file folder open up, and then you could just open that file folder like so. And that's basically this. It might pop up another one, but anyway, for the sake of the video, I'm just going to keep going. Anyway, you're going to right click here and then go down to properties. The first time you initiate after doing your download from the uh, Unigen website, you're going to open this by right clicking going to properties then to permissions and then right here where it says execute this comes like so un unchecked so you're gonna check it then close and then right click again and then when you click on open you're gonna run in terminal first you go ahead and run that and then after you're done running it this folder will pop up and after your folder is open up, I mean, un unraveled, <laughs> you're going to open it up. Then you're going to click where it says heaven or haven, however you want to pronounce it. And then click on run. So after you run it, there you go. Your benchmark tool will open up. And... Uh, that's just a quick little bonus for the guys and gals out there that don't know how to get it done. And there it is. Um, just for a little bit extra, let me uh, show you here with the uh, Valley Benchmark here. Click on Allow. Close that. Open. Open it in Terminal. I don't think that the Valley Benchmark is going to run because of certain dependencies that wasn't pre-installed with the um, AMD graphics card, but I'm just going to go ahead and give it a whirl and see what happens. If it runs, I will be as su surprised as you guys. So, Oh my god, it, it's going to run that's awesome that is awesome you guys might be seeing a black screen nothing but right now I'm gonna tell you definitively that it is actually running under the AMD driver and uh, it'll only run with the proprietary driver so don't try to use the open source driver it's just not gonna happen and um I'm getting only five frames a second, so let me get out of here. <laughs> yeah, the graphics card on this system isn't very pronounced. It's not very endowed. <laughs> so don't expect a lot from this Kaveri AMD A10 setup. I might need more memory. 
Um, I didn't bother to put any high performance memory in this system. I had 8 gigabytes of 1600 megahertz memory and I took it out. After observing the kids on how they use the system, um, they don't care for having any AAA titles on the computer and I don't care for them to have it on there anyway because I'm trying to keep these kids focused. But anyway, if you go to the list in here on other, these are the games that they like to play. Cut the rope, you know, this type of easy type game, like uh, what they call them casual games, like what they would get on their tablets and cell phones. So, yeah. Anyway, I hate when errors pop up on the system. But anyway, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, hoping that me breezing through the uh, install video isn't gonna be too difficult for you guys to follow but that's it that's how it's done um, like I said just copy and paste the stuff I'm gonna post it in the description below if you have any questions or comments you know comment below I will give you a response if you actually have any issues private message me I will try to help you out with your problem um, as of something that I like to do if you don't mind I'll even remotely connect to your computer using TeamViewer um, TeamViewer is uh, something really simple to install on your computer let me get Chrome opened up here real quick before I exit from the video come on Chrome you could do it there we go so when you get Chrome opened up whenever it opens up on your computer <laughs> gonna go ahead and in install team ah here we go team viewer 10 so it should be the first link here I believe that's safe yeah there it is and then you click on the little penguin over here and then what you're gonna do is install this one that says 32-bit 64-bit multi arch don't do this one that says 64-bit without because there's a chance that it's not gonna work on your system so go ahead and click on this and install it if you want me to help you out and I will gladly help you guys out with um, whatever issues you might be having with your system so give me a buzz message me comments thumbs up please subscribe What's up?